Hi, I'm back with yet another CHR video, and in this episode we'll take a quick look at DigitalOcean. I know there's plenty of uh, all kinds of VPS solutions out there, but uh, I happen to have a DigitalOcean account and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get your uh, Microtik uh, router OS CHR uh, running in the cloud. Uh, I know that some uh, other solutions uh, require you to uh, first install Ubuntu or some other Linux distribution uh, and then you must uh, boot into recovery mode or something else but uh, in the at least in the uh, it, it could be true for other systems as well but in the case of digital ocean it's very simple so what you need to do is first have an account there um, then uh, download the Microtik CHR uh, image go to download uh, downloads and in the CHR section, you must download the raw disk image. So let's download 7.7 .7 stable. And uh, once we have the image downloaded, we will extract it. So now we have the IMG file. In DigitalOcean, let's go to our, uh, after you have logged in, let's go to the uh, images section. And in the images section, go to custom images. Now click upload image. In the downloads um, uh, section here I have my IMG file and here I can uh, rename it. Uh, I can choose a distribution, it's unknown, doesn't matter. I will choose uh, a region where I want it to, um, to be run and upload. All right, our image has been uploaded. Now what we need to do is click more and start a droplet. In here, You can select uh, the droplet type. I have basic, and here you can select CPU. You just uh, you can use just the cheapest one, the, the smallest one doesn't really matter. Okay, here in the choose authentication method, uh, you can um, select SSH key or password. Now, password is only for operating systems that have root as their uh, standard username. In router OS, our standard username is admin. So if you try to set this up, uh, DigitalOcean will complain that there is no such user. So it will not work. Uh, you, you must select an SSH key that you have already uploaded here or uh, click on new, paste your SSH key here and, and then select it. But it, it will not be used actually, it, it, so it doesn't really matter. You will be able to log in with admin and no password. So. Um, that's all there is to it. Yeah, now you can click Create Droplet. You can already uh, copy the public IP address and immediately log in, don't delay this. Uh, and now provide a password quickly because internet is full of all kinds of crazy people and they will immediately try to um, enter your router if you leave it without the password too long. Uh, now what I usually do is go to User, add uh, so, uh, a new username group full password i will enter my password here and now i can re-log in with my uh, new username then i can remove my standard username then i can go to ip services see it's somebody is already trying to hack me this is what happens if you leave your services open for too long. Um, quickly disable all, all services that you don't need. Five, seven, all of them. And set SSH port something different. This is only temporary. After this, you must uh, do proper firewall configuration. It's crucial for any service that you put on the internet. So now we're back and now we should be safe for a while until we do proper firewall configuration. So what are the next steps? Well, as with any CHR installation, you must go to system license and then decide what we what you want to do. So by default, you have a free license, which is limited to one megabit per second. It could be fine for you. Uh, I don't know. It depends on what you want to do with your CHR. But uh, well, uh, I suggest you request a trial for a uh, uh, level 1 or 10 um, license and uh, th then you will no longer be limited to 1 megabit per second and uh, um, you can actually keep using the trial license uh, 
as long as you want, um, as long as you don't want to upgrade your router OS. So uh, that's an option too. Okay, I hope you find this useful and see you in the next videos. Uh, we have a whole series of, uh, of uh, CHR videos coming up. Uh, my colleague Druvis is preparing some interesting videos. And well, if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe. See you.